Okay. Okay, can go. Students who enjoyed 
my classes back then uh, would actually surprise with how much I changed the perspective for that. Uh, initially, I was nominated for uh, both the treasurer, secretary general, and uh, board member, but uh, I was the only one who was nominated for a treasurer. I don't know why, to be honest, but. Uh, so I'm running for treasurer, obviously now. Why should you elect? <laughs> I'm wow. sorry, guys. I'm taking that question off your hands. Yeah. Uh, so I have been dedicated to the progress of the organization, as. Darlene mentioned, I've been attending the board meetings, the uh, general body meetings regularly. Some of the lengthier uh, minutes and more detailed ones actually were written by me, and I provide assistance to Sarah, uh, our previous secretary general, whenever she needs help. I believe in women's rights, education, and development, which I believe very necessary for the development of Egypt. I am very organized and uh, Planner, so basically, I like to plan a lot whatever I'm going to do. So uh, I am unbiased to religion, sex, or race. Uh, I actually grew up in a unique environment where actually where uh, basically the area where I grew up was half Christian, half Muslim. We had a church in one end of the street and a mosque in the other. My whole building was mostly Christian, so uh, basically I. I have a unique perspective of that. We're very, I grew up in a family very friendly with them. We believe that uh, every person in the family is entitled to her, his or her own career. So her career as important as his career, education is as important as well. So I think that might be an English perspective in Egypt, even by modern standards. I was also born and raised in Egypt, which is actually something that uh, the board, actually, most of the people are running, uh, I think, uh, the, basically, I think the running people right now are, have more perspective to the American view rather than the Egyptian view. So, since I came in 2009, I'm more close to the current Egyptian perspective, so I can bring that to the board as well. What will I add as a board member? Well, uh, as a mechanical engineer, uh, we took some courses in engineering planning and managerial skills, which I plan on uh, bringing that to the table on the board and making things you know, more organized, uh, more flowcharts, more planning. One of the things that we had problem with over the last year was our data and record keeping. So I plan on actually improving that over the next year and at least set a standard where we can actually start building on that as the organization grows on. Inside to the current Egyptian psychology. Uh, now I have noticed also over the last year that the members have not been very active unless they are really asked to. So I plan on pushing you guys to actually be more involved. Generally speaking, I have a cautious and a reasoning nature. So basically, I, uh, I'm not the kind of guy who gets to jump uh, too excited about things. I actually take a, try to take a step back as much as possible, uh, look at the cons or the problems that can occur, and you know try to come up with a plan in case these things occur, actually. So I think that is something that the board, uh, or any future board might need. You know, just you know, not get too excited about a project or an idea, and, you know, basically look at the, uh, the whole picture. My vision for the organization, actually speaking, uh, I think Amber actually covered that more than sufficiently. Uh, I am planning on helping Eid become more established and well on track uh, with the other board members. Uh, getting the Educate the Young Educate project going on, you know, and take, basically take off the ground. Uh, help reach out to the different to the government, uh, different NPOs and NGOs from the US and Egypt. 
and of course recruiting campaigns uh, for membership and uh, donation fundraising. Questions? Okay, thank you very much.